of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear viewers. Courage, known as the choice and willingness to confront agony, pain, uncertainty, or intimidation. Courage is an admirable virtue that is known to inform and strengthen all other virtues one may possess. There are two, type of for, uh, two forms of courage. Physical, which is displaying courage in the face of physical pain, hardship, or physical threats. The second type is moral courage, which is the ability to act justifiably in the face of personal loss, popular obsession, or issues such as discouragement or issues such as shame or scandal. The most common known type that we witness in our everyday lives is in fact physical courage, while in fact it should be moral courage. Moral courage is quite the opposite than physical courage in numerous ways, with the most prevalent one being that physical courage requires fighting for something for the physical self. As for moral courage, it focuses on holding on to one's values by making correct judgments and standing up for what is right no matter what the consequences may be. Moral courage requires us to make judgments about what actions or behavior are supportive of our highest ideals and which ones are destructive. It asks us to recognize our responsibilities and to see the consequences of our own actions. This is the type of courage that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised us to take on and displayed this type of courage through his three main holy messengers, the Holy Quran, the Prophet السلام, as well as the Ahlul Bayt and their companions السلام. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, O oh my son, keep up prayer and enjoin the good and forbid the evil and bear patiently that which befalls you. Surely these acts require courage. In this holy verse, Luqman is advising his son with many important traits, with the courage one being one of them. Now Luqman was not a prophet, but a wise man that God had blessed with wisdom, and he was mentioned in the Holy Quran for that reason. It has been said that Luqman's advice to his son in the Holy Quran is the key to success in this life and on the judgment day. In this particular verse, he is advising his son to always remember the importance of prayer while at the same time to enjoy life and while staying away from what is forbidden and to also advise others to steer away from all evil. This verse also mentions to remain patient during any misfortune that occurs. And finally, it concludes the holy verse with stating that by doing these specific actions, courage is definitely required. If close attention is paid towards this verse, many lessons can be learned, with the most significant one being courage. This verse mentions to do what Allah ordered, ordered us to do, while at the same time forbidding us from what is evil and to remain patient in the face of hardship and misfortune. Finally, the verse mentions courage to wrap up the verse, which means that in order to do what Allah wants, we must possess the virtue of courage. This relates back to moral courage, because as mentioned earlier, moral courage requires doing what is right and standing up by the truth and refraining from doing what is wrong, no matter what the outcome may be. Since the Ahlul Bayt possess all moral excellence and the perfection of their individualities was created in the heavens before the creation of mankind, then that means by possess all positive traits and virtues, including courage. There are countless of examples that reveal the trait of courage from the life of, of the Ahlul Bayt But there is a significant individual known especially for this beautiful trait the commander of the faithful and the rightest caliph, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, was known for both his moral courage as well as physical courage. As for the physical courage, we witnessed this countless of times throughout the wars he fought during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as well as after his death. However, during Imam Ali's life, lifetime, we witnessed that he casted a spotlight onto moral courage and focused on it far more than physical courage. 
We witness this through his holy hadith as he, sta as he says, the most powerful type of people are those who have authority over themselves. This hadith is trying to expand on the idea of moral courage. As the Imam clearly states that those who have authority over themselves, meaning that they can control their actions and differ between what is right and what is forbidden, are the most powerful type of people. In this hadith, the Imam does not associate courage or power with physical abilities. Instead, he associated power with controlling oneself. In today's society, we often witness power and courage with those who are physically stronger, which often creates confusion for those who are unaware of what courage truly is. Due to the society's unfortunate outlook towards this issue, we often witness much unfairness and chaos going around in today's world. Courage should never be a trait that leads to chaos or destruction. Instead, it should be a virtue that leads to success. In conclusion, through verses from the Holy Quran, as well as examples from the hadith of Imam Ali alayhi salam, we are able to differentiate between the two types of courage. After a brief analysis, it is clear that moral courage should have a far greater influence in one's life rather than physical courage as it is far more important in terms of bettering the self. Through Luqman's advice to his son, as well as Imam Ali's eloquent hadith, it becomes very clear that courage is truly an important virtue that one must possess in order to develop other positive traits and virtues.